I am so, so pumped up about how awesome this looks and how fast it actually put a nice finish on this metal. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a new tool that I got off Amazon. It's a tool that I've been wanting for a while. It is a burnishing polishing tool is what they call it. Pretty much what it is is it's comparable to Eastwood's SCT surfacing tool and pretty much it takes a four inch wheel and you use it to surface metal. So if you're trying to remove paint, rust, different things, uh, this machine should get it done pretty quick. So whenever I ordered this tool off Amazon, they had the tool itself, which I think was like $104, or they had a combo pack that came with three different wheels, and I think it was like $140 or $150. So it's a bargain if you do buy the combo pack because individually each one of these wheels could be like anywhere from $20 to $30. So to get three of them for an extra $40 or $50 is a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna bust this open, I'm gonna get some of these wheels on and see what wheel kind of works the best for just cleaning bare metal. Um, we have some metal in the shop that might have a little bit of surface rust when it comes in and I just wanted something that's going to be quicker than the grinder to clean off real quick. So I'm going to unbox this, get a wheel on, just pick one and show you guys some samples of what wheel does kind of what process. They call this a throw mill, which I don't know why they would call it that. But this actually comes, I guess, with four different wheels. I think I said three earlier. But they're not marked or labeled what they are, at least the ones that come in this combo pack. And another thing I also noticed is these do not have like the plastic insert in them where the other ones I got off Amazon do. So I'll show you guys the ones that I got additionally to these four here. Got a handle. some tools, the actual key stock for the machine, there's the machine itself, and here is the guard with the roller wheel on it. This is variable speed, uh, has an on and off trigger here, and then also has the speed adjustment on the top. It's down from 600 to 3000. This is the ZFE brand. Like I said, it's just something I got on Amazon because it's not something I use every single day. So I didn't want to pay, I think it was almost like three times the price to get the one from Eastwood. So I figured I'd give this a try and see how it works. Okay, so just to show you guys, in addition to the four wheels that came in the kit, I did end up getting an Eastwood this is just an abrasive flap sanding drum. It is 120 grit. It's good for paint removal, it claims. So, but this is what I was talking about earlier, is these actually have like a plastic sleeve inside that has a spot for the key stock. 
where the one that came with the kit does not. So I'm guessing these are probably going to be a little bit better quality, uh, hold up a little bit better. Same thing here with this one. This is, it's just, I think they called it like a paint stripping drum. Uh, it's actually, it's really firm. Uh, definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but we'll give it a try. And then lastly here, this is another drum that has like little sandpaper sheets in it. So I'm going to give these a try. This also has the plastic sleeve inside that's keyed. So I'm guessing these are a little bit higher quality than the ones that came actually with the tool. So we'll check it out and I'm going to give these a try and see how they work. Like I said earlier, these were four inch diameter wheels. Um, they come in different diameters. So before you guys say, you know, that's a four and a half inch wheel or that's a four inch. Um, here's the ones that came with it. I believe they're four and a half, but like these here are a little bit smaller. So I don't know, you might get a little more life out of the larger diameter than you do the smaller. It does come with two pieces of key stock I saw in this bag. So we're gonna get the key, key stock in and try this thing out, see how it works on some rusty metal. Out of these wheels, I think I'm going to try probably, this here was the one that I thought would probably work the best for my situation. So I'm going to throw this guard on and throw this wheel on and give it a try. Get some extra motor brushes in case you're just wheeling so much you burn yours out. Small wrench, two pieces of key stock, Allen wrench. There is a little bit of a burr on the end of this. You can see it's already messing up the key stock. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to get a file. Just file that little burr off real quick because these aren't going in right now. Let's grab a little square file. Slides right in now. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna tap this in. Really snug fit on this. So if you guys are having issues getting your key stock in, just follow that little burr. I'm sure it's just from them machining the keyways. Um, so like I said, we're gonna try this wheel. So if you look at these wheels, uh, this Eastwood wheel, it does have a rotation arrow, so it has to be put on the correct way. If you look on this side of the tool, there's also an arrow showing that this rotates counterclockwise from looking at the end of the shaft. So I'm going to try this wheel here, uh, this drum. It does not have an indicator, so you can kind of look at it and see that they're pretty much straight. Uh, they might be curved a little bit, so that's counterclockwise. I'm going to put it on this way.
a little bit of a tight fit. Gonna put the washer and the bolt in the end of the shaft. Give this thing a try. So here is an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, sometimes when we get material in, it does have a little bit of surface rust or this little bit of surface rust might come whenever it's just been sitting on the shelf for a few weeks, few months. Uh, the stuff will end up rusting even though there is like an oil coating. So this piece isn't too, too bad, but to sit here with a grinder and clean this up is, uh, it's not ideal. So this tool being a four inch, this one here I think is four by four, so that'll let me clean a four inch wide piece of metal in one pass. Uh, it should make things a lot quicker. This thing clamped down, this here, I believe, I'd have to look it back up again, but this here was a 120 grit uh, burnishing wheel with a little bit of sandpaper in it. So I'm gonna give this a try, uh, see how it works. So we're gonna start out on 600 uh, for the speed and just give this a quick run. That made pretty quick work of that. Um, 600 might be a little bit low. Um, I'm gonna crank it up to 1800 and see how this does. I'm so, so pumped up about how awesome this looks and how fast it actually put a nice finish on this metal. So you can actually see that this, this actually cleaned off a lot of the scale that was on the metal um, very quick. So pretty excited about that. Uh, that was the 120. Uh, burnishing wheel with a little bit of sandpaper in it. Um, it's hard to get a good shot here, but that just cleaned that up so quick. Uh, it's going to save so much time and make it a lot easier for prepping metal for powder coat. So I'm going to actually try, I don't have anything that's painted to try the paint removing wheel. With the drums that they gave me with the kit, this here is going to be the most coarse, and this is going to be the finest, and the two in between. This here is going to be the most coarse drum that they gave me. So I'm gonna try this and see how it looks. So I'm gonna keep it on 1800 and just see how this looks. is definitely a smoother smoother finish than uh, this one. I think this was 80 or 120. 
uh, with the sandpaper inside. So, so far this here is going to be my go-to for just removing quick rust. Um, I don't have anything that's painted right now to try this paint remover drum, um, but I am going to try this sanding flap wheel just to see what type of finish I can get. Um, honestly, I'm not going to need anything nearly. I'm not going to need anything that is this fine. Um, probably, probably any of these actually. Um, because it's even with the surface uh, finish that I'm getting right now with the most coarse drum is just about perfect. It's probably honestly too fine. So I'm thinking you might want to use these if you're doing some type of polishing uh, or if you want to go for like a brushed, brushed metal look. Um, so I'm going to throw this sanding flap wheel on and see if that gives a little bit rougher of a finish because most of the stuff we do gets powder coated so I don't want a super super fine uh, polished piece of metal I want something where the powder can stick to so I'm gonna throw this sanding flap wheel on and see how it actually comes out so one thing I did notice the drums that come with the kit they do fit on pretty easy and they come off pretty easy. Uh, this one that did not come with the combo kit is definitely a little bit tighter of a tolerance to get on and off, but uh, this has a plastic sleeve in it. So I'm guessing this is probably gonna stand up uh, a little bit better to if you're actually leaning on this thing uh, versus this that doesn't have any insert at all. So I'm gonna try this flap wheel to see if I can get a little bit uh, rougher of a finish on this metal. Uh, this here is actually a little bit too smooth for what we're doing. Uh, this stuff gets powder coated, so I like to have a little bit of a rougher finish to be able to have something for the powder to stick to. So like I said previously, this wheel does have a rotation arrow so this spins counterclockwise so I'm gonna put this wheel on and give this flap drum a try and see if I can get a little bit rougher of a finish on here uh, so this is an Eastwood SCT contour wheel I keep calling them wheels I know they're drums but this is an SCT contour drum and it fits right on without any issues. So just from this assumption, I'm going to say that any Eastwood SCT drum is going to fit onto this machine. Like I said, there is a lock on the back, just like a grinder, locks the shaft so that you can tighten and loosen the drum. So we're going to leave this here at 1800 RPM and I'm going to flip this metal. So we're starting with a clean bare surface um, and see what type of finish we get on here. Okay, so one thing I noticed right away, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the video or not, but with the actual flap wheel drum, it's only getting the raised portions of the tube. So all in here in the middle, it's kind of missing because it's only riding along the edge. Um, whereas whenever I use this drum, it's kind of a little bit more flexible. 
so it was actually able to kind of form to the tube. I'm sure this tube isn't perfect. Uh, it has some ridges and some high spots in it. So this drum here actually is able to get down inside and kind of get everything where this flat drum doesn't. So uh, it's one of those things that you don't know until you actually try it. So I'm guessing we're probably going to have kind of the same issue with this paint stripper drum because it is really, really hard. Uh, it's really solid, whereas these, they're definitely a little bit softer. So they're not as uh, firm. But all in all, like I said, this here was the coarsest drum that they gave me with the kit. And it's still honestly pretty soft. So it was able to form around the tube and clean kind of everywhere where that flap wheel only got the high spots. Uh, the flap wheel might be good for plate, I'm thinking. If you have kind of something like this, a table that you want to clean up or if you're working on something that's flat. But I'm thinking that my ideal wheel or drum for this application of trying to clean this 2x2 two two tubing, it's going to be this one that I got off Amazon. I'll put the actual description of what this is over the video here. So if you guys are trying to clean up some tubing, I'd recommend this. Uh, like I said, anything from here up is probably honestly too fine for what I'm trying to do. That would be good for if you're trying to polish metal and then maybe clear coat it or something like that. But if you're just trying to knock the rust off, knock some of the scale off, um, this here is going to work pretty awesome. So just another quick point to add. Uh, I did read some reviews and some things online uh, about these drums. And from what everybody's saying, they last a really long time. Um, they are a little bit pricey, anywhere between $20, $25. And if you get some really decent ones, like 50 So hoping they last a while. Um, just after my small test, uh, it doesn't look like there was much debris. Um, there's a little bit here, but I think that was honestly from whenever I accidentally hit the corner of the tube and it just dug in like a knife edge. So I'm hopeful that these will actually last a while. Um, I'll drop down in the comments here in a little bit, give it a few weeks, and we'll see how long these actually last. So all in all, seriously, if you guys do anything with metal, you have to clean it up, whether it's tube, plate, this probably wouldn't work that great, probably on round tube, but check out my other video. I have a round tube polisher that I ended up buying off of Amazon as well. It works awesome for round tube, but if you're doing square tubing, if you're doing plate, this tool is a must have. Works awesome. It literally can get something done that would take you, I don't know, five minutes to do and probably 20 seconds. So it's going to be a huge time saver for me. Super amped up, super pumped to be able to have this tool in the garage, have it in my toolbox as another tool that I can use to be more productive. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up the video. You guys got to see me unbox this new burnishing, polishing machine, a throw mill as the instructions call it. Um, you get to see me try out a couple different wheels on this rusty piece of metal. I know it's not super rusty, but it's kind of what we deal with and the whole reason why I bought the machine. So I wanted to do a real world test and test it on something that I was actually going to be using it for. So I think the drum that had the burnishing pad and also the sandpaper flaps inside is going to be what I'm going to use. It's probably what I'm going to order more of, and that's going to be my go-to for cleaning up rust. Uh, like I showed you guys, that pad, is that wheel or drum is soft enough to be able to fit into the uneven spots of the tube and clean everything. So makes quick work of it, and honestly pretty happy. Uh, we would spend way too much time trying to clean that either with a Scotch-Brite pad or a sanding wheel, a flap wheel on a grinder, 
where this you can literally hit it with one pass and it's four inches wide so that's going to accommodate pretty much everything that we use in this shop so all in all really really happy and excited to have another tool that's going to make my life a little bit easier so if you guys like this video hit the like button subscribe for more videos more tool videos honestly a lot more just random videos of uh, me doing cool stuff in the garage so I'll catch you guys next time later